Welcome to QPhoto Picasso Album Maker Software. This short tutorial will assist you in creating your first photo book. The Picasso Album Maker is a rather comprehensive program and contains a large number of features. However, for the purpose of this tutorial, we will only focus on creating a custom-made photo book as quickly and effortless as possible. To start, open the Picasso Album Maker by double-clicking on the icon on your desktop or by finding the program in the Start menu. This may differ depending on the version of Microsoft Windows you are using. On your first screen, you can choose between three options. Create a new project, open an existing project or view your shopping card. Click on Create a new project. On the second screen, you can choose from different product categories. To create a photo book, click on the image of photo books and then click on Next. Remember to frequently check for updates. This can be done by clicking on the appropriate link in the top right hand corner of the screen. When downloading products, only download the products that you need as downloading all possible products may negatively impact on system performance. On the next screen, you can decide on the type of photo book you would like to create. The current options are standard and lay flat photo books. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will choose the standard photo book. Once you have made your selection, click on Next. Once you've selected the type of photo book, you have a wide variety of options in terms of the size and the type of cover, each with its respective prices. Remember to frequently update your software to ensure that you have the latest information available. Select your product and click on Next. You are now ready to start adding pictures. These pictures can be added from your computer, but Picasso also makes provision for adding photos from a variety of other sources such as Facebook or Flickr. Should you wish to import pictures from social media such as Facebook or Instagram, ensure that you are logged into these accounts before proceeding. You don't need to add all your photos at once, you can always add more photos. It is important, however, to have at least 80 to 100 pictures. A photo book cannot be completed with less pictures. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will only add a few pictures. To add a photo, click on the plus sign. Choose computer to add pictures from your hard drive. You now have the option to select individual pictures or upload a whole folder with photographs. It is advised that you sort all your photos in a folder in the desired sequence before you add them. A PDF document explaining how to do this is available on the QPhoto website. Once you clicked on Next, you will be prompted to provide a name for your project. This name will only be for your own reference and will not appear anywhere in the photo book. Type in the name of your project and click on Create. The next step involves the creative process of arranging your photos in the album. You will notice all the selected pictures on the left hand of your screen and in the middle of the screen you will see the physical layout of your photo book. This is the part that will be printed. At the top is a summary of all the pages in the book starting with the first on the left. The tabs at the bottom of the page provide different tools for your page layout. You can click on the Autoflow button and the software will arrange all your photos in the book in less than a minute. You can then page through your book and make changes where necessary. Alternatively, you can add the pictures individually by selecting the image and dragging it across to the page. Remember that you can add pictures to your collection at any time by clicking on the plus sign at the top of the navigation bar. When adding pictures, avoid combining pictures taken during the day with pictures taken during the night on the same page as the darker pictures may seem faded. Once all your desired pictures are added to the photo book, you can take some time to edit some individual pictures. Remember that you can add some color to your book by using the various page styles, masks, background, frames and scrapbook elements at the bottom of the screen. To resize an image, click on the image, then click and drag the sides to the desired size. 
Remember to hold in the shift key on your keyboard to ensure that the width and the length of the image keep the same proportion. Only want to include a certain part of the image? By cropping a photo you can cut out certain parts of the picture. Simply double click on the picture and a cropping window will appear. You can now move the sides of the picture. Once you are done, you can click on OK. You will return to the previous screen. If you have multiple photos on a page, aligning them manually may be difficult. Rather use the Align function to ensure that images are exactly on the same level. Do this by selecting all the images you wish to align by holding in the Shift key and clicking on the images. Now right-click on one of the images and select the Align option. Remember to keep within the red lines of the page. If you want to enlarge a picture to fit exactly on the page, you can always right-click on the picture, click on Fit and choose one of the options on the pop-up menu. We recommend keeping important captions and parts of images such as faces at least one centimeter away from the red line to ensure that they will be properly printed. For more information, have a look at our Borders and Trim Lines guide available on the QPhoto website. Want to add captions to your memories? No problem. Text can be added on all pages at any time. Simply click on the plus sign next to the letters AA above your artwork and then click on the part of your page where you would like to add the text. After typing in your caption, you can change the format of the text with the edit bar on the right hand side of your screen. Remember to highlight the text that you wish to edit before changing properties such as font type, size and color. If you want consistent font settings, you can also copy one text box, paste it on other pages and then just change the content. Congratulations! You should now be able to create your first photo book. To have the book printed by QPhoto, you can click on the green shopping card on your screen at any time. You can also save your photo book file and all the pictures on a portable device and take it to your nearest QPhoto for printing. Should you require any additional assistance, please contact our friendly client care consultants who will gladly help you to get started.